Hey everyone, so I've got Greg here with me who's got a very interesting motor goodsy. Hi Greg. Hi Matt. <laughs> Glad to be here. So come down to tell us about this amazing bike because I don't think many people would have seen one like this. Alright, so tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a, um, I call it a McCabe special. Um, a guy called Elmer McCabe, who was a fairly well-known classic racer, built it as a special in the late 80s and 90s. Um, it's pr primarily a Falcone, a 500cc horizontally opposed uh, single with an external flywheel. Be familiar to all the, a lot of guzzy people and probably not so familiar to other people. It's not a lot, lot of them around, but it's a highly modified engine. Uh, it's uh, been given a needle roll of uh, big end conversion and a short stroke, so which allows higher RPM. Uh, it's quite powerful. Um, the elderly gentleman who passed on, who actually built the bike, was uh, is now gone, of course, and I'm unsure as to the capacity of it. Uh, it feels like a 500, it goes like a 500, so I'll, I'll call it a 500, but uh, it may be a bit short of that because of the shortened stroke. Um, it's actually got Japanese brakes on it, um, very a very powerful front brake, it's probably the biggest drum brake that's possible to get, a 10 inch uh, TZ Yamaha brake, which is a four leading shoe, uh, um, normal conventional brake, and a Suzuki 500 rear brake. Um, so they're the departures from, uh, from Moto Guzzi spec. Um, all the bodywork, the tank, the fairing, uh, the mud guards are all hand beaten aluminium. Uh, the, the gentleman was also a sheet metal worker for the, in the airline industry. He worked for Qantas. And I might add at that point, that's uh, a very similar colour to Qantas Red when I look at the bike. So uh, I, I guess Qantas might have been a sponsor of the building of this bike. Um, it's had in his shed for quite a while. It hasn't had a lot of use. It, did, it was fitted with lights eventually. It was a race bike to start with. And then the centre stand, the front and rear lights were added to, with the intention of putting it on the road. But his health deteriorated and he, um, he uh, died before he was able to actually ride it on the road. I have ridden it on the road and uh, certainly gets some attention. It certainly goes well. It handles, it stops, it starts. It's a kick starter, normally fitted to it, but it's off the bike today. So I've, uh, I've started it up today, of course, and had to push start. And that's it. It's a 1957 uh, Falcone engine, so I call it a 1957 Elmer McCabe special. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to go through with me. And um, I, I look forward to seeing it on the road sometime. I'd love to follow it. You bet. <laughs> I'd be following it, I think. I'll give you a run. <laughs> thank you. Thanks very much. Always ask. Always ask people.